yesterday it was uh, our first session for the cryptography course. Today it is the second session. Uh, yesterday we covered some basics and concepts related to the cryptography, related to the type of ciphers, and we started a very important topic yesterday about the symmetric and asymmetric systems. And of course, as we explained that the symmetric and asymmetric systems, they are uh, 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 an important topic because this is considered the uh, art of the cryptography. And as we will know today, uh, we will have some usage and uh, features for symmetric and others for asymmetric and we can combine both of them together then we can get the maximum benefit of the uh, two uh, systems uh, together. Uh, for just a, uh, we want to review the symmetric and asymmetric systems very quickly and this slide it will be considered as a refresh for your uh, information which we uh, explained yesterday about the symmetric and asymmetric and if you can remember we mentioned that the symmetric this it is the cryptography which it use a single key this it's use single key it is the same key which it will be used for encryption and decryption and usually this it's called a uh, secret key usually it is called secret uh, key this means that you have only one uh, key and this key it will be shared with the center and the uh, receiver. For asymmetric keys, it is uh, you have two different keys. You have two different keys. You have the public key and you have the private key. Public and the private keys, we are uh, two keys which are used for the uh, encryption uh, and decryption process for uh, the asymmetric systems. Again, this means that for the symmetric, it have a single key, for asymmetric, it has a public key. Uh, what are the benefits and uh, disadvantages of each one of them? First of all, the keys. Uh, in symmetric, as we mentioned, it's only one key. And this one key, it should be shared between whatever any entity we want to send the encrypted data for uh, them. Then if I want to send to a specific user, I have to share a key with him. I can share the same key with others, but of course this means that all of us will be able to see the uh, messages. Uh, there will be no confidentiality between uh, uh, different uh, parties. Uh, if you have only one uh, key, then this key, it will be used for all the users. This is the reason why we are in having uh, a key for each entity. And when you will have a key for each entity or for each user, we mentioned yesterday that the number of the keys, it will be n, n minus one over two. And this is the number, uh, n is the number of the users. And this, it will be the total number of keys. And this is the reason why we, we mentioned that it is not uh, easy, uh, it is not easy uh, for uh, uh, scal uh, scalability. The scalability, it's not easy because as you can see that the keys it will be very difficult and uh, to maintain, especially if you have a large number of the uh, users. This uh, related to the symmetric. For asymmetric, it is two keys, as we mentioned, public and uh, private keys. The key exchange for the symmetric, it's, it should be out of band. It should be out of band because this means that uh, it should not be uh, exchanged over the media which it will be used for uh, share, uh, exchange the data. It should be uh, even if I go to the sender uh, receiver and I give him the key uh, by hand, this would be the best way and the most secure way. For the asymmetric, I don't have any problem because the public key, it is public, it's available anywhere. I can download it from internet, I can download it from a CE as we will know later. This it will not make any uh, difference for me at all. Then this it will be very easy that you will be able to handle the uh, key exchange in the asymmetric because as we mentioned, the asymmetric has two keys, public and private. Private, it will never be shared. It will be kept on your hard disk or, or your crypto uh, system. Uh, 
storage, uh, but the public key it should be shared. It can be shared by email, by SMS, by uh, USB, by hard disk, uh, uh, on cloud, whatever the method which we make. For the symmetric uh, systems, uh, uh, it is uh, very fast. It's, it is you very fast in encrypting uh, data and decrypting data. And this is considered one of the most important points for the symmetric. Uh, asymmetric, it is very complex and slow. Very complex and slow. Although mm -hmm. it uh, has a benefit in the keys for uh, managing the keys, but still we have a problem that uh, it is complex, uh, it uh, is slow, and it requires, of course, a lot of uh, resources as processor and memory. The usage, I don't want to cover this right now because this it will confuse you, but today we will cover it in more details in the next few slides. And also the security service, confidentiality, the other confidentiality, authentication, non-repudiation. We did not speak about this yet, but inshallah, by the end of this session, I think this it will be uh, clear for you. Uh, yesterday, I remembered that we bypassed uh, two, uh, three slides. We bypassed three slides, and I told you that with three slides, it will confuse you, and I prefer to uh, postpone it for today. Uh, these slides are the public and the private key uh, keys usage, and uh, as we mentioned that this, it will be used in the uh, asymmetric uh, algorithms, and these two keys, my friends, just consider them as two uh, related keys because these two keys are uh, based on uh, two prime huge prime numbers and these two prime numbers cannot be uh, detected or compromised and just you have to know that whatever any data it will be encrypted by one of these keys the other key it will be able to decrypt then take care of what i am saying because this it will make a big difference by the end of this session if I encrypt with one key, even if it's public or private, I will be able to decrypt by the other key, okay? Because I will not say that I will encrypt by public or I will encrypt by private. We have some situation I can encrypt by public and I have other situation which I can encrypt by private. Then what you have to understand that one of these keys, if it encrypted the data, the other, it will be able to decrypt the data. Okay. Here, there is the point which it can confuse you. Look, my friends, I really appreciate your concentration here because this it will be very important. I have a piece of information. I have a piece of information. It's a message or uh, whatever it is, anything. I don't care. I want to hear the authentication. It is the most important security service to the center. And I want to use the cryptography to authenticate this message that the center, he is one who is really encrypted. Of course, the center here, how many keys the center does he have how many keys? Any answer? Two. 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 That's right. As we mentioned, he have the private key and he has the public key, right? And let's call it private S for the sender and public S. Also, we have the receiver. The receiver, he will have two keys, private R and public R. Okay? Then, this is the message. I want to encrypt, I want to encrypt this message to prove that this message is coming from a specific sender. 
I want to encrypt this message to make sure that it is coming from a specific center. Then, which key should I use to encrypt this message? Is it private sec or public sec or private R or public R? I will repeat the scenario again. I have a message and I want to encrypt this message and I want the receiver to know that this message is coming from the sender. It is coming really from the sender. It's not from coming from anyone else. Then, which key should I use? Is it the private? Uh, key for the sender or the public key for the sender or private key for receiver or public key for receiver. In the chart, we have some answers. Uh, private, which private? You mentioned private, but which private? Uh, Abdul Aziz, he mentioned uh, public S and the private R public of the sender and the private of the receiver. Okay. Okay. Uh, private for the sender. Amr is mentioned private for the sender. Uh, Mah uh, Mahin, he mentioned private for the sender. Okay, we have some right answers and some wrong answers. Uh, okay. There is one piece of information you have to keep it in your mind. If I want to make sure that the information it is coming from a specific person, then what is the piece of the information which is or which exists with the person and it's only with him? What is it? Umbrella, so he's saying private key. Excellent. That's right, Arm. It is a private key. As we mentioned before, my friends, the public key, uh, sorry, the private key, this it's your key, even it's clear for its name, private. No one should have it. No one should uh, uh, utilize it or use it rather than the user himself. Then if the private key is compromised, he have to uh, revoke the old keys and create a new key. Then the, 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 the point here, it is very important to understand this concept. It is very important, very important. And in some situation, it's causing confusion, especially in the exams. Although it is, the concept is very easy. I will repeat the scenario again, then you can understand it. Because this is very important, and I want you to understand it very well. You will see that we will discuss this a lot during uh, the, 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 the next uh, few hours today and for tomorrow uh, session, inshallah. I have a message. This is the message which I have. I want to encrypt this message. I want to encrypt this message with a condition that the receiver, when he received the encrypted message, he is he makes sure that it is received from the sender. For example, this is coming from the sender, it's coming from Osama. And I want to send this message to Am. When Am, uh, uh, when he receives the message, he must make sure that this message is coming from Osama. It's really coming from Osama. Five, okay, then. If I want this message, or I want to prove that message is coming from Osama, what is the only information which is available with Osama only? As Amri mentioned, the private key. Then this it will be the private key of the sender, right? The private key of the sender, or private key of Osama. It will be the private key of the sender. Why? Because no one has the private key for the sender rather than Osama. No one else. Right. Then, if Osama, he will encrypt this message using the private key of himself, then this means that the, this it will create a cipher, right? This it will create a cipher. And I will send this cipher to ARM. 
When Amri will take it, he will say, I want to make sure that it's coming from Osama. If it's coming from Osama, he should encrypt it with his private key. Then, which key Amr should, should use to decrypt the message? Which key Amr should use to decrypt the message which is received from Osama? Any answer? The public key. Public key of what? Of whom? Of Osama or of uh, Amr? Uh, of a receiver. Okay. Uh, okay. A public uh, Jedi is saying public again, public key of okay. center of uh, Mahan, public key of sender. Okay, okay, uh, Amr sender public. Okay, okay, that's right, my friends. Send is it should come from sender public. Why? Because, as we mentioned. The, the message, if the encryption is done by a specific key, then the other key it will be able to decrypt. We encrypt with the private of Osama, then this or, or private sender, then it should be decrypted by public sender. But I'm from whoever he will get the public sender. From where? It will be from any place, my friends. This is not the problem because, as we mentioned, the public key it it, sh it shared over the internet. I'm he can call Osama. Please send me your public key by email, by SMS. Uh, please upload it to uh, iCloud and I can download it, or upload it to Box.com and I can download it. I don't care. Public key. It is. It, we don't have any problem with the public key, and we will have a PKI, and I will show you the, how the PKI will to make life very easy for all. Of the things, but now just as a public key, I need it. Then this means that when Amri will receive it and he will be able to decrypt the message with the public key of Sama, then this means that it was encrypted by the private key of Sama, and this private key it was it is available only with Osama. Then this means that here it is proof the authentication. The message is this authenticated. Why it is authenticated? Because it is authenticated the user who sent it. It is authenticated the user who sent it. This is the concept of the authentication. Okay. Let's have another scenario. Let's have another scenario. What will what will happen? What will happen if confidentiality is the most important? Now, confidentiality is most important. Okay, let's have an example to understand. Now, again, I have a sender. I have a sender. The sender, he have a message. He want to send it to the receiver. What is the important issue here? The important issue that the sender want the receiver only to see this message. You don't want anyone else to see this message, message rather than the receiver. Then, which key should he use? We have again a private key sender. We have public key sender, we have private key receiver, and private public key receiver. I will give you five minutes to think about it, then we can discuss this scenario. But I want to explain it once more to make sure that you understand the requirement. 
the sender he have a message. He want to send it to the receiver. He want the sender want that uh, this message is very important, and he want that the receiver only is the one who can read this message as to protect the message confidentiality. Then the receiver should only be the one who can uh, read it. Which key you should use for encryption, and which key should you use for decryption? I will give you three minutes and we will uh, come back again. Hey, my friends, any answer? I, I, I will uh, go through the chart. We have a lot of answers. Uh, GD, public key of the center, public key of the sender, and the private key of the receiver. No, it's wrong. Uh, Mahen center encrypt with private receiver private receiver no it's wrong private receiver it should not be available as the sender if it's available as the sender this it will be a crisis you have to revoke the key uh, public key public key of the sender and the private key of the receiver no it's wrong uh, Abdul Aziz, uh, encryption, private and the public. And for decryption, no, of course not. Uh, when you will make encryption, it's use only one key. If you are use decryption, it will use only one key. Uh, then uh, no, two, two keys, it will not work. Uh, Amr, public key of receiver. Public key of receiver for sending and the private key of receiver for decryption. This is the right answer. This is the right answer. Uh, sender encrypt with public receiver and will decrypt with private receiver. He will encrypt with public receiver and encrypt with private receiver. Yes, this is right. This is the right answer also. Okay, uh, private key of receiver, and public key of sender. Uh, no, private key of receiver, which one it's you, it will be? Uh, no, no, receiver and sender, no, it will not work. First of all, okay, I think the, the right answer, it's coming from uh, Mehen and from Amr. Uh, first of all, my friends, we mention any encryption it will be done by a specific key 
it can be decrypted by the other key. The, when you will find that you are saying public key of sender and the private of receiver or uh, sender and the receiver, this it will be wrong answer. Brilliant. Because I will not be able to encrypt and decrypt with two different keys. We must be related to each other. And we will be only related to each other if it's public and private. But if we have a public, I can do it by private. If I can do it by private, then I can. OK? What is our point here? Our point here, confidentiality. I don't want anyone to see the data. I don't want to, anyone to see the data. Then how we can uh, uh, do it? Okay, this, let's say that the uh, sender, he will, uh, as your colleague, uh, colleagues mentioned, that he will uh, encrypt with the public key of the receiver. He will encrypt with the public key of the receiver. Then if the sender, he will encrypt the data with the public key of the receiver, then the only one who can decrypt is the private key of the receiver. And as we agree that the private key of the receiver is available only with the receiver, then this means that the receiver he will be the only person which, who will be able to decrypt the data. Okay, you will be the only person who will be able to decrypt the data. Bye. I have another, uh, uh, do you have any question? Is it clear? Because I want to give you another scenario. This is very important. This it will make a big difference to understand here confidentiality, authenticity, uh, non-repudiation, and so on. Did you understand the concept here? Can I give you another example? Yes, okay. My question, what will happen, my friends, now? Let me change the color of the pen, then it will be considered as a new scenario. What will happen now if the sender, he will uh, encrypt the data with the private key of the sender? The sender, he said, okay, I will encrypt the data with the, my private key and I will send it to the receiver. Do you think this is a right decision? If yes, why? If it's not, why? Again, two minutes and I will expect the answers from you. Okay. Now, my friends, we have a very important issue, how to work with asymmetric and symmetric. Unfortunately, we will not be able to use asymmetric alone or symmetric alone, because symmetric, we have problems with the symmetric in scalability, in uh, uh, key uh, exchange, uh, also, the asymmetric, it's a very slow type. How we can work with the public, or I mean asymmetric and symmetric together? Let's have this example. Now we have Bill, he want to send a message for Paul. Bill, he will get or he will develop a symmetric key. Don't ask how this it will be developed now. This it's not important right now. Just he will make a symmetric key. We will have a key by some way. How it will be done, we will clarify it later. We will have a key, this symmetric key. Okay. And what he will do now, he will take the message which he want to send it to Paul, and he will encrypt this with the symmetric key. When I have a message, I will use the symmetric key and I will encrypt sir, it. We can not hear you, sir. Sorry? Let's go. 
when this mean that we ball, he will get the symmetric key and he will encrypt the message with this symmetric key. Then I have the message and it's encrypted by the symmetric key. Great, we have two encryption here because this it will be confusing. Think about it. I we both build, he developed the symmetric key. I don't care how, but he has the symmetric key now. He will use the symmetric key to encrypt the message because we agreed that the symmetric encryption, it's very fast. And he will use, and he will use ball private, uh, ball public key, ball public key to encrypt the symmetric key. You got the point? I'll use the symmetric and asymmetric encryption at the same time. I encrypt the message with the symmetric key and I will encrypt the symmetric key with Paul public key. Why? Because Paul public key, it will be what, two key? It is not an issue. Although it is slow, but it's two key, it's not an issue. Then I will encrypt the symmetric key with Paul public key. And he will send the symmetric key, which is encrypted with Paul public key, and the message, which is encrypted, encrypted with a uh, symmetric key, to ball. Ball here, he will use his private key to decrypt the symmetric key. Then he will be able to use the symmetric key. And he will use this symmetric key to decrypt the original message. Then he will be able to read the message. Now, did you know how this it will uh, work for using in asymmetric and symmetric? If you have any question, just raise it now. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay. This is very important to understand how the asymmetric and symmetric, it will work together. The user, he will create secret key or symmetric key encrypted with the receiver public key and he will send it. This means that the receiver, he will be able to use his private key to read, to decrypt it and have the symmetric key. The receiver, the sender, he will use the symmetric key to encrypt the message, send the message. The receiver, he will be able to get the symmetric key and encrypt the cipher message and he will read the message. I have questions for you now. This is important. It will give you a quick review for your information. This is very important and I want to make sure that you can uh, work it uh, together. I will give you 10 minutes to think about it. I don't have any problem if you want to uh, shot together to solve it uh, using this shot or whatever, it's it's up to you. Uh, if you want to work alone, if you want to work together through the chat or through the uh, voice, it's up to you. I will uh, uh, give you uh, 10 minutes for this exercise. You can start now. Uh, I can see that there is uh, a good interaction uh, over the chat and the team, we are working uh, very active. This is good and this means that you are uh, getting the point and the uh, concept and the understanding. Uh, I will start with you the first question. If a symmetric key is encrypted with receiver's public key, Okay, receiver is public key. What security service or services are provided? If it's encrypted with receiver public key, then this means that it will be decrypted by the receiver private key. If we encrypt by receiver private key, this it will be confidentiality. It will be confidentiality because 
if the, the message it encrypted with the receiver is public key, no one he will be able to read it except the receiver who will use the receiver uh, 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 private key. And the receiver private key, it is used only with the user, the receiver. Then this means that it will be confidentiality. Okay. Is it the same answer uh, which you uh, defined here? Let me go through number one, confidentiality. I think Abdulaziz, he right. Well, Jedi, uh, again, right. Uh, uh, my, he's right. Uh, okay, I think you more, most of you answered it in a proper way. Okay, excellent. Second question, if data is encrypted with sender's private key, if it's sender private key, then this is very easy. It's authentication because I want to authenticate the user. I want to authenticate the user. Let me check your answers. Uh, Abdulaziz authentication, OJD authentication, Jackson authentication, uh, my authentication. Okay, excellent. I think uh, great. Okay, third question: If the sender encrypts data with the sender's private key, what services is or are provided? Okay, what is your feedback? This number three, uh, most of you, we are saying here, uh, already is in confidentiality, uh, Jackson integrity, uh, Abdulaziz integrity, uh, because it does not expose his own, it does not message if I read, read by other. Okay. Uh, what is your opinion about question number three? Can I encrypt a message by receiver's private key? Do you think that I have the receiver's private key? I want to send a message to any one of you. How can I get his private key? Did you get the point? This entrapment question, my friends. This is an entrapment question. Yes, if you don't have the key, then this means that you will not be able to use it. And if you have the key, then this means that the key is compromised. And if it's compromised, then you should not use it. And this private key, it should be revoked. Then this scenario, it is not valid. It's not providing any service. This entrapment question, we want to make sure that you are understanding the concept, okay? Then this question, it's not valid. Number four, why do we encrypt the message with symmetric key? We mentioned that we are encrypting the message with symmetric key because it's fast. Why we don't? Uh, why don't we encrypt the symmetric key with another symmetric key? If we encrypt symmetric key with another symmetric key, then the symmetric key which we use it to encrypt the symmetric key, how we will share it again? It will, we will have the same problem. How we will share it with the others? If we are using the public key and private key concepts to encrypt the data, this it will be easier and uh, better. Here, you will find the answers. First one, confidentiality. Uh, second one, authenticity. The, uh, this uh, private key is compromised. The faster process, distribution of keys is not easy. These are the answers. Okay. We will have a new concept or 
It is not new. We discussed this before, which we call it session key. What is session key? Session key, it's a single use symmetric key. It will be used once only to encrypt the data during a communication. Then this means that if I want to send an information from one user to another user, a key, it will be a symmetric key, it will be generated, as we mentioned before. How it will be generated? We will discover this later. This key, it will be used only during this session. When the session is terminated between the sender and receiver, and we create a new session, then a new session key, it will be generated. When this is this means that the session key, it will be used only during one session, during a session. It will be used during a session. And the session key, it is exactly the same as the symmetric key. Exactly the same, it is a symmetric key. But it's only good for one communication session. Okay? This to make uh, 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 the concept very uh, clear. But the session key, it is the secret key. Or we call it session key. But session key, this is dynamic. It be changed. When this is very important, these expressions are very important. Session key. It's dynamic, it will be changing every session. But secret key this is static. This key, you have it standard. Uh, it will never be changed. I, we exchange this uh, secret key together to be used and this will be standard. But in, in the uh, uh, session key, this key, it will be generated for each session to encrypt the data. Here, we have uh, a diagram uh, to show you, you have one document here uh, with symmetric uh, encryption, uh, symmetric encryption. Uh, you create a, a random key and this random key, it will be uh, encrypted by the uh, recipient's public key. You will have uh, encrypted message and this it will be sent to the receiver and they will be able to read it. Anyway, this is the same as we discussed in this diagram, it may be uh, better. This, it may be better because this is the same concept. This session key, which we said that this session key, which is created, this which we call it session key. This which we call it the session key. When the session key, it will be encrypted with the receiver public key, and he will use his private key to decrypt it. Then he will use it to decrypt the message, which is encrypted here. Another question. What is the difference between the following terms? Secret key cryptography, session key cryptography, private key cryptography, shared key cryptography. What is the difference between these uh, expressions? You can uh, share your answers through the chat or uh, verbally as you like. Any answer? No answer at all? Okay. Finally, we had one answer here. It's coming from Amr. Number one static symmetric key, number two, dynamic symmetric key, number three, symmetric, four is like one. Okay, when you want to say that we all of them are, as, uh, all of them symmetric except number four, uh, except number three. Uh, 
uh, you are guide for one, two, and four. Uh, all of them symmetric encryption, by a symmetric algorithm. But these are just different in expressions. Why? Because secret key, we agree about it. Secret key, this means that it's a single key between user, between sender and receiver, then it is symmetric. Session key, it is again the secret key, but the session key, it will be valid only for one communication. Then again, it is symmetric. Private key, this entrapment, because when you will read private and public, ah, it's asymmetric, okay. But we are not call it asymmetric. We, uh, we are not call it private key uh, cryptography. We call it asymmetric key cryptography. But when we say private key, he won't be symmetric because you know the key which is used in the symmetric, it's private. It should not be shared with more than the two users which we are using then we will never call asymmetric as private key cryptography. No, we call it asymmetric. But when we say private key cryptography, it, is, it means that we need the symmetric algorithm. Shared key cryptography, of course, if it's shared, then it is a secret key. If it's shared, it's a secret key. Then by the end of the day, again, the secret, secret key cryptography, it is the symmetric algorithm. I hope that we... Uh, answer is clear. Uh, please, if you have any question, uh, please raise it now before going to the uh, new topic. Okay. Now we will start with the symmetric systems algorithms. We discussed a lot of uh, system algorithms as symmetric, as symmetric. Uh, one, we want to discuss some algorithms which are working under the symmetric algorithm. Symmetric uh, algorithms, they are using a single key, and this single key, it will be utilized between the uh, center and the receiver. We have multiple symmetric algorithms. We have the DES, 3DES, AES, IDEA, Bluefish, RC45, and 6. These are symmetric algorithms. And we agreed that the symmetric algorithms usually they are used for encryption because they are very fast. Then for the DES, and this is the basic or the first. Uh, algorithm, it is used for the encryption. It's a symmetric block algorithm. Symmetric block encryption algorithm. Then this one, it's block. You remember, we, we mentioned that algorithms, we have two different types of uh, block uh, algorithms. Block and stream. Block will divide the message into uh, blocks and it will encrypt. But the stream, it will encrypt the messages bit by bit. And the block, it is fast, the stream, it is slow, and it requires hardware uh, resources. Uh, we have a question from Badr. Is it only these types? Uh, what do you mean by these types? You find uh, a I mean the algorithm, yes. Okay, these are the uh, most popular. Yes, these are the most popular. Yani, uh, as you will see now, uh, these two are not used anymore. This is the uh, standard one. This one it's used, but for some reasons it's not popular. Also this one it's used, but it's not popular. And these uh, are not used anymore. And we have RC6 only. Yes, these are the most popular uh, symmetric algorithms which are uh, uh, used for symmetric algorithms. We will have other uh, slides for asymmetric, uh, inshallah. Then, with this, it is a block algorithm. It's symmetric block algorithm. Okay. And of course, we will say the block algorithm, the first thing we have to ask, 
what is the number of bits when it will uh, split the message, the, the text message into 64 bit blocks, 64 bit blocks. And the 64 bit blocks, when it is encrypted, it will generate again 64 bit blocks of ciphertext. When we plan text and we cipher text, we are the same size. Of course, as we agree, it's a symmetric algorithm. And this means that user and uh, we, we, uh, the same key, it will be utilized for encryption and decryption. And it uses a key of 64 bit. But there are eight bit of them, it is used for parity when they are not used. But actually, the number of bits is 56 bit. And as you can see, this is a very small. Uh, key and this it uh, this is the reason why it is it's compromised and it's not used anymore. It is not secure anymore because the key, as you can see, it is very short. Fifty six bits. This is very short. How we this work? Of course, although this it is an old protocol and uh, sorry, old algorithm, and it is not. Uh, uh, used anymore, but why do we explain it in more details? Because this is explaining the concept. This is explaining the concept. I want you to understand how it's working. Then this means that it will be very easy for you later when we are speaking about other algorithms or uh, asymmetric algorithms and so on. How does this work? This defines the plain text message into blocks. Okay, we agree about it because as we mentioned before, it's a block cipher. Then it is distributed the divide into 64 bit block and it will encrypt each one of them. Okay. The block are both through 16 round. Aha, this is very important. Why? Because this means that when you are divide this block, these blocks. These blocks, it will go through 16 rounds, 16 uh, function for encryption over each block of them. It's mentioned 16 rounds of transposition and substitution. You remember transposition and substitution? Transposition that it will change the position of the uh, bits and substitution, it will change the original bits and replace it by other bits. Then it will have 16 rounds, 16 function. Each function, it will have a specific transposition or substitution function. The order and type of trans, uh, transposition and substitution, or it depends upon the key. Aha, then it's 16 rounds, but how the transposition and substitution it will work? It must be standard, we must have this algorithm be standard between the sender and receiver, then they will be able to retrieve all this information. How it will work? It will work through the, uh, uh, the, the key. key. It will define the rounds and how the data it will be uh, the transposition, transposition and substitution functions. As we mentioned that the this it's a broken and it's not secure. Why? Because we are saying that an algorithm it's uh, broken. If someone is able to uncover a key that was used during an encryption, and the, why? Because the key, as we mentioned, it's fifty-six bit. It's a small, uh, a small size. Then this is the reason why it was discovered then this means that we this it's not secure anymore and it is uh, it has a, a, a weakness uh, in the algorithm itself this is the reason why it's not used anymore okay in this we have different modes in this we have different modes what are these modes we have electronic code book ecb we have cyber block chaining, CBC. We have cyber feedback, CFB. We have output feedback, OFB. And finally, counter CTR. Let's have a look on each one of them. What is electronic code book? Electronic code book operate like a code book. It's as a code book. You have a book, 
it has a specific code. This code means something. Each code means something. A 64 data block is entered into the algorithm with a key. We agree about that. Why? Because this is this, it is block cipher. And we agreed that in this, we are, we are using 64 bit data block. It will go through the algorithm with the key. And we will have a block of cipher is produced. And this block of cipher is 64 key. Fair enough. For a given block of plain text and a given key, the same block of cipher is always produced. If uh, we have the algorithm, it's fixed, and the key it is fixed as well, then whatever any message, it will have the same cipher uh, uh, text it will be generated. This which we call it as a pattern, and this considered as a weakness, because we uh, hackers, we can predict the key if there are a repeated pattern in the data. Not all message, end up in need by the 64-bit block, of course. As we uh, mentioned that it should be uh, split into 64-bit, uh, but of course, not all the messages, you can divide, divide it exactly 64 for each one. Of course, the last one, the last uh, block, it will not be 64, it may be less, then this means that it will be completed by uh, zeros. The security issue using ACB mode is that each block is encrypted with the exact same key and thus the same code book. And this is the problem of the ACB because the same key it will be used, then the result it will be the same uh, cipher text. Do you remember what is the name of the factor which we use it to solve this problem before? We explained this today. Do you remember what is the name of the factor which we used before when we said that if you have an algorithm uh, like that and you enter the uh, message which you want to uh, encrypt and you have here the key, then this means that it will create the same cipher uh, each time. Whatever, any time you will use the same clear uh, clear text with the same key and the algorithm it is the same, then it will be usually the same cipher. Then we have another factor which it will be used. Yes, Amr al he he mentioned uh, initialization factor. You are right, initialization factor, which is called IV. And we said that the IV, this is the factor, a randomized factor, and every time it will be changed, and this means that every time we will create a different cipher. Every time it will create a different cipher. Okay. We have two bad things with the ACB. We have two bad things can happen with the ACB. What are they? Number one, an attacker could uncover a key and thus have the key to decrypt all blocks of data. If the hacker he was able to uh, uncover the key, it's okay then he will be able to decrypt the blocks of the data. Even he can steal the key or he have some, uh, he's smart and he discovered that this uh, word in cipher, it can be dear or it can be you sincerely or whatever, then he will be able to protect the key. And if he's able to protect the key, he will be able to decrypt all the blocks of the data. Also, an attacker could gather the cipher text and blend text of each block and build the code book that was used without needing the key. Of course, as we mentioned, that uh, I know that when I have this is a letter, when the first word, it may be dear, last word, it can be my name, uh, sincerely, my name, so and so. Then if you will find these words are repeated, then he can say, yes, this it will be dear, or this it will be the name. Then he will try to uh, make a comparison between the clear text and the uh, cipher text, and he can discover the key. These are the two bugs in the ECB protocol, and this is the reason why it is not used anymore. Although the test, it is not used anymore. Uh, okay, what is the next uh, model? The next model, it will be the uh, CBC. The CBC, it is cyber blockchaining. What is cyber blockchain? Cyber blockchaining, you will have a plan text here. This is a plan text. It will go to encryption process. 
it will go through the encryption process. The results of the encryption process, you, it will be considered the cipher, it will be an input for the new plan text. It will be an input for the new plan text. When it is encrypted, it will create cipher two. Then it will go to the plan text and it will be used for encryption. You know, this is the same concept as we explain it, but it may be a little uh, different. Let me show it to you. You remember when we said that we will use something called uh, uh, IV here? We have the IV. I have plan text and I will use the IV initialization factor. This is the random. I will not use here IV every time. I will not use IV here and IV. No, I will use IV only once. And I will use the cipher text after that, this block number one, this block number two, this block number three. Then for block number one, I will use IV. In block number two, I will use the output of the uh, encryption of block number one as the IV of the plan text two, and the cipher two as input for plan text three, and so on. Then this means that you will be able to make chaining. This is the reason why it is called chaining block or block chaining, block chaining. Cipher block sharing mode does not reveal a pattern because each block of a text, a key and the value based on a previous block. Of course, here, for example, suppose that there is word Osama and here Osama, it's in, in blank text and you have Osama here in blank text. Of course, it will never have the same pattern in the output. Why? Because Osama, it will be, uh, uh, included with the IV when this is uh, a, a factor. And again, here, Osama, it will include it with a different value here, which is the cipher text. Since this one is different from this one, then the patterns which it will be created here are different. And this is one of the uh, problems uh, happened in the ECB, in the electronic code book. This, the CBC, it will solve this problem because it will use the IV in the first one and it will use the uh, uh, encryption algorithm in the others. Uh, it means what, sir? It means that you will not have any pattern. You will not have any pattern. I don't have any repeated pattern. If Osama, it is encrypted, then because the uh, cipher text, it is uh, 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 changed value every time, when the Osama, when it is first time, it will be encrypted, it will create a pattern. But when it will be, or it will create a cipher, when it will be created the uh, encrypt second time, it will not use the IV, it will create the uh, previous uh, chaining or a previous cipher text. Then it will be a total different value, it will be created. Then this means that you are uh, uh, resolving the problem of repeated patterns. Okay. The result of one block or XOR with the next, it is uh, before, uh, it's okay. This is one which we explain. Uh, my friends, I know that this, it may be somehow confusing. And uh, frankly speaking, I don't want you to be confused. And even I will not continue this uh, slides. I will leave it for you if you want, uh, just to understand, because frankly speaking, it's not important. This only for the people who are planning for the CISSB course, they can have a look on it because they will find some questions related to this. But for the people who want to understand the uh, encryption, it's, it's okay, you can uh, bypass it because this is, it will be a little bit uh, confusing and it will not be very uh, helpful uh, anymore. Then I don't want to make life difficult. I don't want you to hate uh, cryptography. Uh, this is not important. All what I want you to, to understand that with this, it is number one, it is block uh, cipher. It's key, it is 56 byte. 
plus eight uh, bit uh, as a, a parity, then the total it is uh, 64, and it is divided the data into blocks of 46 bit. This is the most important information for the this. And as we mentioned that with this, it is an old one and it's not used anymore when it was replaced by the triple disk or the three disk. What is the difference between this and three uh, uh, and three disk? Three disk, again, it's symmetric block. Okay, we agree, it's symmetric block. And it used 48 rounds. Aha, uh -huh, 48 rounds. Do you remember what was the number of rounds in the desk? What was the number of rounds in the desk? Can you remember how many? Uh, we have an answer in the chart. It's coming from Abdul Aziz, 16. Excellent. That's right answer. It was 16 rounds. When this read this, it is 48. When this means that the number of substitutions and uh, prepositioning, it's three times, three times the this. It's more secure than with this. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, again, these are the, uh, forget about this slide again. This again for the people who are interested in the CIS. Again, three deaths, it is not used anymore. Three deaths, it is not used anymore. There is one point I want to highlight here, my friends, in the three deaths, because it's sometimes uh, confused. Usually we are saying one, uh, the three deaths, the key, it is 168 bit. We are, we are saying, you will find some books, it's mentioned that the key for triple deaths, it is 168 bit. But actually, it's not the right, right answer. We actually, we triple this, we are encrypting the data using this three times. When we are using the this three times, when this, uh, how many uh, round for this? 16. When I, I'll use, I will use the this three times, when multiplied by three, it equal 48 rounds. As you can see, it is 48 right here. Also, the key, it is 56 pi, uh, bit. If you multiply 56 by 3, you will find it is 168. When this means that the key, it is not 168 bit. It is the actual key, 56, but it's repeated three times when we virtually we are saying it's 168, but actually it's not 60. Again, triple this, it is not used anymore, and it is not secure. What is the one which is used? It is the advanced encryption standard, AES. AES, this is the encryption which is standard, and it, this is the one which we are using right now. Again, as we agree, it's a symmetric block, and it is used a key size of one, 128, 192, or 256 bits. Of course, if you can remember the this, it was providing the uh, one, uh, sorry, uh, 56, and the uh, three this, it was providing the key for uh, one, uh, 56 times two, 56 times uh, three, uh, sorry. But for the AES, it can support uh, 128, 192, 256 bits. I have a question for you now why it support different values of key bits. It can say support 256 and that's it. Why I have the option for 128 and 192 and 256? Do we have any scenarios? I have to use 128, although 128, it will not be secure as 256. It's better to use 256. What is the scenario which you prefer to use 128 over 256? Any answer? We have an answer in the chart. It is saying less processing and overhead. Right, right, that's right. Uh, battery is may, saying maybe for some systems it's only work with this N256. Okay, excellent. Uh, actually, these are the two uh, right.
right answers. The first one for Amri is saying the less uh, processing and overhead. Do you remember my friends when we said that we have the encryption it can be done on uh, hardware or software? Software, this is application, it will do the encryption using the processor and memory of the machine. Then this means that you don't need to have a, a complicated uh, encryption mechanisms because this, it will consume a lot of uh, resources of the application. Then you can use the 128 or 192 bit here for the key. And as Badri mentioned, uh, there are maybe some systems which are old and they are not supporting the 256, which is the new technology, then, uh, okay, we can utilize 128 or 192 for it. Then it depends. It's, it's, we don't have what we call a right answer or a wrong answer. 128, no, 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 don't use 128. It's not secure, so and so. Yes, it's not secure, but in some situation, we may accept it because we don't want to uh, lose the resources of the uh, devices, especially, especially if you are working on a cloud. Just imagine if you are working on a cloud and you have 256 bits, this means that you are increasing the uh, size of the, uh, I mean, the resources which you use it as a memory and processor. And in the cloud, you are paying as you use. This means that by increasing the number of bits, you are increasing the uh, uh, money which you pay. Someone here is say, okay, I can accept this because this, it will be a security. I will tell him, okay, this is good answer, but again, I can tell you, don't use the key for a long time. Just use it for uh, one session or two sessions or three sessions and terminate it and create another key. Then 128, even if the hacker is trying to uh, protect the key, he will not have enough time to protect it because the key is changing. Okay. The block size that it's supported, it is 128 or 192 or 256. The uh, old, uh, the this and three this, it was 64. Here we are using 128, 192 or 256. Okay, we have another board called the IDEA, the International uh, Data Encryption Algorithm. Again, this is a block cipher and it's operated on 64 bit blocks of data. It is similar to this and three this. And it, be, be, it is divided, uh, the 64 is divided into 16 smaller blocks and each has uh, eight rounds. Yeah, it is used as eight rounds. As you can see this, it's used only eight rounds, only eight rounds. Although we mentioned the this, which it was uh, uh, weaker uh, or weak, it used 16 rounds. Uh, but this one, it used eight rounds only. Uh, the key, it is 128. Uh, bits. The key, it is used a key of 128 bits long. IDEA is faster than this when implemented in software. IDEA is faster than this. Of course, it's faster than this. Why? Because it is using eight rounds only. It's using eight rounds only. But with this, it is used 16 rounds. Then look here, this is the point which I'm telling you, there is no wrong and right answer. We are saying if it's implemented in software, then this means that it will be faster. Then the idea, it will be a good option to be implemented in software. It will be a good to be implemented in software. It is considered harder to break than this because it has a longer key size. Yes, because with this, we mentioned that it is uh, weak because the key, it was 56 bit. But the key in the idea, it is 128 bit. Then it is considered harder to pick. And why it will be faster? Because as we mentioned, it used only eight rounds of symmetrical functions of substitution and preposition. We have one problem here. It is patent. You will not be able to use it uh, free of a charge. You have to take, uh, you have to pay your money for the people who are developing. Then if you are a developer, you will not be able to use the idea without uh, uh, taking uh, permission from the developer. We have a question from Badr. Is it a direction to only use from 128 and more? 
Yeah, yes, and even from my point of view, 128, it's very weak right now. And for example, in NCA, we are, man, uh, I think, mandating 512 or 1K, I'm not sure. But 128, 256, it is not uh, secure anymore uh, right now, because don't forget that the uh, computer resources are very high right now. And to provide uh, a PC with uh, 32 GB RAM or 64 GB RAM and uh, eight processors and each processor eight four core and all this stuff, it's very easy. Now, believe it or not, now I, I, I can see some configurations of uh, PCs, uh, gaming PCs, sometimes it can be more sophisticated than the servers which we are using in the data center. When I am discussing this configuration with my son uh, about the gaming, he's telling me uh, I want to have uh, 32 GB RAM, I want to have SSD, we want to have SSD, three hard disk, enable stripping zero to improve the performance when we can uh, see the games as uh, a normal film, not as a carton, for example. Then uh, the, the resources now, especially if you, you are uh, uh, follow up with your uh, children in the gaming uh, field, you'll find that the resources now, it is very easy to add the 64 GB RAM or 128 GB RAM. And I'm not telling you in a data center or in a sophisticated environment, this in a PC. Uh, yani, yani, the PC for my son now, it is more sophisticated than the servers which we are using for some applications in our data centers because you want to reach to 144 a frame per second or maybe 240 frame per second and you want the machine to be very fast you want to have ssd with the stripping zero and all this information and uh, 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 i think 256 and 128 will not be enough uh, even 512 in some situation not be enough uh, i prefer to think about the 1k and in some situation it would be 2k and again we have other points which i want to keep it in your mind i can't have a, a t64 bit for example i am forced to use a 64 bit because we uh, infrastructure which I have, it's not strong enough and it does not have the resources. As we agreed, the keys, my friends, itself, we can manage it. For example, if you have a key which you are using frequently, then you can change it every time. You can change it every time. Yani, uh, every uh, 10 mega uh, RAM or uh, 100 mega, uh, sorry, 10 mega uh, or 100 mega uh, encrypted data. After you encrypt 100 mega, then uh, uh, create the key, create a new session key and use it. And although the key is short, but the hacker, if you, he needs some time, whatever the length of the key, but he needs some time to discover it. If you will be able to change it uh, frequently, then you will not be able to follow the, uh, uh, the data or the key, and you will not be able to do any brute force attack against it. I hope that I answered your question. Okay, the other protocol, for the uh, symmetric uh, algorithms, it's the Bluefish. Again, it's a block cipher. Now, we, we, still, we are speaking about the block cipher, and it works on 64 bit block data. And it has the key lens, it's uh, for, uh, start from 32 bit up to 40, uh, 448 bit, and it's doing 16 rounds of uh, mathematical uh, functions. And this protocol, it's free and it can be used by anyone. This means that if you are a developer, you want to uh, configure your application to encrypt the data before it's stored on the hard disk, you can use the Bluefish because it's open standard and you can utilize it in your products. In the RC, RC4, it's a stream cyber algorithm. Okay, here we start to speak about stream cybers before we were speaking about block cyber. This is a stream cyber and it has a variable key. It is used for SSL protocol. Uh, and unfortunately, we found that it's vulnerable for uh, a lot of attacks and it is not used anymore. It is not used anymore. RC4, it's not used anymore. 
we have the argc5 and the argc6 argc5 it is block fiber also don't be confused uh argc4 it is a stream cyber but argc5 it's a block cyber the number of rounds it's up to 255 up to 255 of course now we are giving themselves some uh, room when i'm not saying it is uh one or five or 16 round or 48 rounds or no i can it can reach up to 255 why i will tell you why because now, my friends, we are not thinking about servers and desktops only for encryption. We are thinking also about iPhones, about uh, or, uh, smartphones, about tablets, uh, about machines, which it has very limited uh, resources as IoT and so on. Then if you have the RC5, it's about 255, it will be great for a server. But if I want to use it for any handheld device or tablet or phone, it will not be able to work. Then if I want to use the RC5 for a, a tablet, I can use up to 16 round or eight round. If I want to use the RC5 to uh, a PC, I can run it a uh, uh, hundred round. If I want to use it for a server, I can run it two, five, five round and so on. Then this is the reason why we Holds or sorry, the algorithms we are giving you the chance and the uh, uh, possibility and flexibility to choose the size of the keys, the size of the blocks, the, 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 the number of the rounds. When the, the protocol it can be utilized and will be standard over multiple uh, uh, infrastructures. Here again, the block size uh, 32, 64, 128. And look here, uh, I, I hope that this it will answer your question, uh, Russell. Now we have 2K. RC5 support 2K. 2K. 2K is available since a long time. And this is in RC5. Uh, RC6, it is uh, RC6, by the way, this is built on RC4, and by the way, RC6, it is equivalent to the AES. Not equivalent, we are compatible, because when we said that 3 this it's not secure, and we want to replace 3 this by something else, then we work and we developed AES, and another entity, I cannot remember the name, they developed the RC6, but we choose AES as the standard one. Then RC6, it's equivalent to the AES. Both of them are uh, strong, they are providing uh, high performance and uh, a lot of uh, possibility and possibility for the uh, encryption. Okay. Uh, I am afraid that we covered a lot of information today, and I am quite sure that you are uh, 